Hi guys, so today I want to teach you how to use Microsoft Word to reference academic essays. This is a really, really easy way to do it because it lets you input all of the details of the book that you want to quote and then it helps you just to, in, to quote either in line or create a bibliography at the end. So the first thing that we've got to do is remember that this might look a little bit different if you're working on a PC but the process is exactly the same. You need to find the tab that says references and once you find this tab it will let you enable a different kind of menu that has different options for all the type of referencing needs that you could have, right? This is inbuilt into every single copy of um, Microsoft Word. Now, what you want to do is click this button over here that says insert citation. So once you do that, it'll open up a pop-up dialog box that will let you input all the information of any different types of sources that you've got. You can change it here in the type of source to so a book, a section, article or journal. So it depends. This can let you reference all sorts of different things. So in my case, I've got a book. The author for this book is called Tony Harkup. The title is Journalism Principles and Practice. It was published in, and you have to do this um, only once for every book that you want to quote within your text or in your bibliography. So it's published in London. The publisher is, give me a second, Sage Publications Limited in 2009. And this is a second edition. So we're gonna put it here, second edition. Right, and don't worry if you mess up. Any of these you can amend after the fact. You can always correct everything. Um, but for now, I think that looks good. And now I'm going to do OK. So what happens now is that I'm going to be able to call up a, um, a little sidebar where I can see exactly all of my books that I've got ready to reference. So if I click here where it says citations, can you see it next to insert citations? It calls up this little sidebar where Tony Harcourt's book is now listed and if I write anything, so look at the middle of the text here. So if I write, this is a quote from Tony Harcourt's book. I can now come and double click into his name and it'll immediately insert an inline citation. And this is active text, which means if you look at it, it's not normal text, you can actually edit it. And you can say, you know what, edit this citation. I want to have the pages in it as well, right? So this is page 17, for example, and I don't want to show the author, or I do want to show the author. Click it and it immediately edits it, right? The other beautiful thing about this referencing system is that you can change the citation style. So I don't know about you guys, but I always get really confused about what style we use. At the University of Kent, we use Harvard, but sometimes some professors might ask you for different styles. If you change the style here, let's say you change it to APA, that will immediately change the style of your inline citations. You don't have to do absolutely anything. So let's try doing another one. Come here, click plus. This time around, I'm going to do a book on social movements because that's the kind of stuff that I research into. And the author is a guy called Cyrus Ernesto Siraxta. The title is Social Movements in Politics. The city is London. The publisher is, let's have a look, Longman. The year was published, 1997, and there we go, I hit OK. See how it's added it to my list of stuff and it also gave me instantly here an inline citation that I can move around or I can disappear. So now I can do another quote for, this is a quote from our second book that we have referenced. Double click on that. And I can change that, edit the citation to have page 58, for example. Perfect. Oh my God, I'm not supposed to be quoting APA. I need to be doing Harvard, right? And it'll immediately change everything around. Now let's say you're also done and you want to insert the bibliography of your essay. All you have to do is come here to where it says bibliography. So again, back to the top of the menu and you do bibliography insert 
ta-da, and it automatically did it for you. You don't have to remember exactly how to do the bibliography, which order it needs to go to, whether it's surname or anything like that, you can do it immediately. And again, if I forget the type of citation, I can change it, for example, to MLA, and it automatically updates all of the tags. This is a very easy way to do your referencing as you go along and not have to wait till the very end. I would suggest that you do this as you're reading. Any interesting bits that you find, immediately quote them, and hopefully this will help. Thanks for watching.